Hey everyone. Of course, artificial intelligence is not a 2023 creation. Artificial intelligence has been around for several years. But what created the urgency in 2023 was the popularity of ChatGPT and large language models. ChatGPT grew to over 100 million active users and that created a urgency for businesses and enterprises to invest in artificial intelligence. The next domino was looking at NVIDIA's growth and the surge in revenue at NVIDIA and that really started the snowball effect for artificial intelligence. And so it's not going away. The large language model was just the first to come on the scene. There's more and powerful innovations coming down the pipeline for artificial intelligence, things like driverless car technology, think of the value that can add, and innovations in healthcare. And so AI is going to be around and it's going to be informative to understand which is the best AI stock to buy for 2024. So that's what I'm going to answer in this video. I'm going to compare the two giants, Microsoft and Alphabet, and answer which one I think is the better buy for 2024. I want to thank The Motley Fool for sponsoring this video. Visit fool.com slash parkev for the 10 best stocks to buy now. So let's start by looking at their latest quarterly results. Then we'll look at their estimates for the next two years. I'll look at valuation and I'll look at longer term performance to finally answer which one I think is the better AI stock to buy. Let's start with Microsoft here, which saw its revenue increase by 13% to $56.5 billion. Operating income jumped by 25% to $26.9 billion. Microsoft has done an excellent job leveraging its services most of its revenue comes from services and that's allowed it to grow its profitability significantly one area i often joke about with microsoft is i want you to try and reach customer support with microsoft i haven't had any success over the last two years trying to reach customer support at microsoft whenever i've had an issue they just don't have customer support i guess or i just haven't been able to find it they direct you to message forms and if you call the phone service it's just an automated message directing you to a website to read and solve the problem yourself and i guess when you have a dominant mar uh, market share like microsoft has you can afford to cut your customer service spending because where are customers going to go what's your option you're going to go with a windows computer or an Apple based computer. And for them, you know, for me, when I had uh, the choice to buy another computer, whether it was Windows or Apple, I chose Apple partly because of that um, awful customer service, in my opinion. But that strategy, that choice has led to improving profitability for Microsoft. And next year, it's expected that sales of computers, personal computers are expected to rebound. 2023 sales of personal computers were down meaningfully because people bought a lot of computers in 2020 and 2021. And there was a gap between purchases in 22, 23. That's expected to rebound in 2024 as people upgrade their older computers as businesses upgrade their older computers. And another factor, Microsoft servicing its older Windows is going to end. And so you can't make those older Windows computers the last longer. You're going to need to upgrade and change those. All of that is positive for Microsoft going into 2024. Alphabet also had a nice quarter that ended September 30th, revenue increased by 11% to 76.7 billion, while it saw its operating profit margin increase to 28% and operating income jump to 21.34 billion. Alphabet, of course, operates in the massive advertising industry, which is expected to generate over 920 billion dollars in revenue in 2024 and that's not including political spending so it is the dominant player in a massive and growing market and that's really good news for alphabet stock investors now let's take a look at the estimates for the next couple of years for microsoft the consensus estimate for revenue in 2024 is for 14 percent growth and this is for the quarter that ends in June 2025. Now, 
This might be confusing, but companies often have fiscal years that are different from calendar years. And this is the case with Microsoft. Its fiscal year ends in June, and it, the calendar year, of course, ends in December. But this is one company that is different. And then for its fiscal year 2025, which ends on June 2026, analysts expect Microsoft to generate 14.1% revenue growth. Interestingly, analysts expect Microsoft earnings per share to accelerate from 14.5% in its fiscal year that ends June 24 to 15.2% in the fiscal year that ends June 25 and to 18.3% in its fiscal year that ends June 2026. Now, this is one of the characteristics that gets investors to pay a higher price to earnings multiple for an investment when they demonstrate expanding earnings per share and expanding revenue when the second derivative is growing. Alphabet, meanwhile, it's expected to grow revenue at 11.2% in 2024 and 10.6% in 2025 with earnings per share growth of 15.7% in 24 and 17.1% in 2025, also demonstrating accelerating earnings per share growth, which, like I mentioned, investors like to see. Longer term, Looking at the operating profit margin comparing Microsoft to Alphabet, you can see Microsoft has been the more profitable company for the last decade with the lead over Alphabet the entire time. And that lead looks to be widening at 43% for Microsoft in the most recent fiscal year. I'm sorry, in the most recent trailing 12 months compared to 26.5% for Alphabet in its most recent trailing 12 months months. Finally, I wanted to compare these two on valuation and the metric I chose to use to value these two is the forward price to earnings ratio. Now I could have used the price to free cash flow ratio and this is just a preference. I like to use the price to earnings ratio whenever I can because it's a more comprehensive number. Some like to suggest that price to free cash flow is more informative. I tend to disagree. For, for some of the times, price to free cash flow is more informative when earnings per share have been volatile or earnings per share are including one-time items that are not likely to recur. But for these two, in this case, I think the price to earnings is the better metric to use. And according to this valuation metric, Microsoft is more expensive than Alphabet, trading at a forward PE of 29.12 compared to Alphabet with the forward PE of 21.31. Now, I agree that Microsoft should sell at a premium to Alphabet because, look, it's generated better profitability over the last decade, and the growth expectations for the next two years at 14% of revenue and 15 and 18% in earnings per share are better than Alphabet's expectations of 11 and 10 percent in revenue and 15 and 17 percent in earnings per share so given its better characteristics it deserves a premium valuation however i feel this much of a valuation premium is a bit too much i would say if i was to choose between these two ai stocks for 2024 alphabet is the better stock to buy if microsoft was selling closer to 24 I would have chosen Microsoft, but at 29 compared to 21 valuation, I would go with Alphabet as the better choice for 2024 and beyond. If you liked the video you just saw and you want to see more just like it, please subscribe to the channel. I can't keep this channel free without the support of viewers like you. And if you're already subscribed, thank you and I appreciate your support.